why is speed, agility, and quickness important for, for AFLW players? Um, in terms of that question, mate, like there's there's probably two two layers to it. So, I think if we look at speed, agility, quickness training training globally, um, it's important for all athletes, but it's particularly important for AFLW athletes. Um, we look at kind of at having two sides of the coin, both. Of, it's got performance benefits as well as injury preventative benefits as well. Um, and then if we dive into the performance side of things, um, AFRW as a game, um, they are shorter games with less players on the ground. So there's more space. Um, and so the quickest and, and most dynamic teams, um, they can do the most damage in, in the shortest amount of time. Like they're the ones that win. You look at sides like Adelaide, you look at Brisbane this year. Brisbane had rapid outside players that, you know, if you've got good inside midfielders that can get ball to outside and then into space and get it to those electric players, you can you can do some really good damage in a really short amount of time. And I think we saw that in a side like Brisbane kicking um, the most amount of points in, a, in an AFLW game ever. So I think the game in general is moving more and more towards being an aggressive and, and quicker game. What What's some of your favourite ways to improve efficiency of, of running technique? Yeah, so, I mean, I think it comes back to in terms of having a group versus an individual. An individual, um, to be honest, at, at the private level even, we, we don't have access to individuals in one-on-one -on -one environment that often because we don't really believe in that model. We want to be able to service a lot of athletes um, and we can't do that in a one-on-one -on -one model. So a lot of the time it, it is in a, in a smaller group setting. So having said that, even in a smaller group, thing, there is an, an ability to individualize a little bit more than there is in in a big group environment at aflw level um and so in terms of session design it gives you a little bit more flexibility around what you're programming for your athletes that come to you in a in a private or, or a semi-private setting versus an aflw group um where the aflw group is really relying on the staffing that you have available mitch shafto has just written in um, from youtube should you do any agility exercises before a game? <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, Mitchie, you can include some agility exercises in, in your warm-up. Um, warm-up is is one of the coach's most effective tools in terms of it's, it's the most frequent time that you have available with your athletes. So implementing agility within your warm-up is gives you, gives you a good bang for your buck. Um, and then some athletes really enjoy incorporating some more dynamic preparation work prior to a game. So depends on your athlete. Um, if it's something that you like to do, absolutely go for it. Just uh, get plenty of rest in between and don't cook yourself before you get out on the field, mate. And what about from a, the quickness point of view, what are some of your top tips for, let's start with the strength and conditioning coaches to, to focus on to help athletes become quicker? Yeah. Um, quickness as a term, I think, is, is a little bit of a grey area. Um, and I think it comes back to your philosophy as a coach. So if we just zoom back out for a second, um, in terms of developing speed, agility, quickness, and in particular quickness as a, as a coach, you really want to have a mindset that, that speed grows like a tree. So it's not a, a short-term quality that you're looking to build in an eight-week or 12-week time frame. Um, you know, if you are someone like Nolsey or someone like Benny Frith, who has a group for three to five years, um, hopefully you want to adopt a mindset where if you are placing speed, agility, quickness as an important quality or emphasis that you want the group to improve on, well, then it's something that you've got to consistently pepper week to week, month to month, year to year in order to actually get the benefits 